Good morning, my dear students. Welcome back once again. This is your science teacher, Juhi Dikshit, presenting her third presentation on the chapter Crop Production and Management. This slide represents the outlines of the presentation under basic practices of crop production. The last three are protecting from weeds, harvesting, and storage. In this slide, we will discuss protection from weeds. What are weeds? These are the undesirable plants that may grow naturally along with the crop. Now students, I will be giving you few names or I say examples of weeds with their technical names as well as their popular Hindi names. The examples are Amaranthus, popularly known as Cholai, Parthenium, Gajarghas and Cynodon Dectylon, Dubghas. Now, the process of removing weeds is known as weeding. On large scale crop production, it is also chemically treated. The chemicals which are used for this purpose are known as weedicides. Students, in this slide, I will discuss that how these weeds propagate from one piece of land to another piece of land, why they are undesirable and how they are being separated from healthy crops. Now, here we can see that for propagation, weeds use air, water and animals as their medium of propagation. This is how they spread in fields and grow with healthy crops. Next question, why weeds are undesirable? Because they are also plants. They also require water, sunlight, space and nutrients to grow but weeds share all these components from healthy crops which in turn influences following components first amount of crop production is affected second quality in terms of nutrients hence we can say that weeds are undesirable for healthy crops so their removal is necessary weeds are weeded out either by hand or with the help of an implement called harrow whose image is shown in the slide now students for checking the growth of weeds certain chemicals are used these chemicals are called weedicides such as 2 4d towards the next slide the second last process is harvesting and threshing now i will discuss harvesting students it means it is the process of gathering crops from the fields a farmer usually waits for the crops to turn yellow golden or brown or in other words completely ripe and when the right time comes farmer cuts them harvesting is either done manually using sickle the picture is shown or by a machine called harvester now i will discuss do weedy sites have any effect on the person handling the weedy site sprayer the answer to this question is very simple my dear students yes it affects because we are humans and humans are very much prone towards the side effects of the chemicals so a farmer should use these chemicals very carefully. They should cover their nose and mouth with a piece of cloth during spraying of these chemicals. After harvesting, the next step is threshing, also known as winnowing. When the crops are harvested, they are separated from chaff. Students, the meaning of shaft in general sense is worthless things. But 
in terms of crop production chaff is the husks of cod or other seeds separated by winnowing or threshing the tool required for this purpose is known as harvester the image is shown in the slide now in india many festivals are associated with crops and their harvest seasons and are celebrated in different regions of the country the main festivals are pongal baisakhi holi diwali nabanya and bihu students this is the last process of crop production and management that is storage the storage process is of utmost importance because the success of other processes depends upon the proper storage management of crops students storage is done at two different levels macro level and micro level when crops are stored on large scale then it is known as macro level storage for this purpose first grains are sun dried and then kept in gunny bags or jute bags after this they are placed in ventilated cemented halls popularly known as godowns silos or granaries whereas storage at micro level is done in metallic bins usually used at household level for storing large as well as small quantities of grains it is necessary to treat the crop chemically so as to prevent it from pests moisture and microorganisms my dear students now we have reached towards the end of the first chapter that is crop production and management now your science teacher juhi dikshit signing out till then be safe and sound and also be happy thank you bye bye we'll meet again namaste